It almost feels wrong to speculate about the next generation of Nintendo right now, and here's why. Nintendo Switch has given us the strongest library of games compared to any other platform that came before it. And right now, we're living in what's one of its strongest years of all time. We're just days into the release of the first new 2D Mario in over a decade, Zelda might be the most fun I've ever had with a video game, and we still have things like WarioWare Move It and Super Mario RPG to look forward to. But what I'm getting at here is that we are extremely lucky and it's honestly hard to remove ourselves from the current moment with how good we currently have it. Which makes it all the more insane to consider the fact that the next generation console might be around the corner. There's a world that within the next calendar year, we get to witness something akin to the Nintendo Switch presentation in 2017, which detailed the then next generation game roadmap. Things like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, and Xenoblade Chronicles 2, just to name a few. It's all a bit overwhelming, so I usually try not to even think about it. But we have to consider, something could be happening soon. We've just passed the two year mark of the announcement of the Nintendo Switch OLED, and we're getting to the point that a hardware announcement could soon be realistic. New hardware is always paired with new software. When fans go to pick up a new device on launch day, they're going to want something to play on it. That's the concept of a launch title. And today I want to talk about what potential launch title the next Nintendo console could have. For the Switch generation, it was The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. But since we're fresh off the release of a brand new 3D adventure, we know the next console is not going to have Zelda as a launch title. At least not in the capacity we might expect. As strong as the Zelda brand is, only a new 3D title is a strong enough release to carry the launch of new hardware. Breath of the Wild proved that in 2017. Unless we're getting a graphically improved version of Tears of the Kingdom or something along those lines, as great of a game as that is, I don't even think that would be enough to drum up enough excitement to suit a new console launch. Nintendo of course wants to maximize launch sales of the new hardware to get it in as many people's hands as possible. So they might stick to the numbers and release new entries in Nintendo's most popular franchises during the Switch generation. If we look at the data, those are Mario Kart and Animal Crossing. While an all new Mario Kart title would surely fly off the shelves, it seems a bit unlikely due to the recent rolling out of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. With one more currently known wave of new DLC courses and characters still to come for the current Mario Kart game, it might be too quick of a turnaround to release a next-gen Mario Kart right at the launch of new hardware. What I think is slightly more realistic is another one of the smash hits of the Switch generation, a new Animal Crossing game. Over three years have passed since the release of New Horizons, which granted isn't a ton of time, especially considering the game had a series of big post-launch updates, but let's say a new title happened to start development right after or maybe even simultaneously during the New Horizons DLC, and we don't see new Nintendo hardware until late next year or early to mid 2025, then that system launching with the brand new Animal Crossing certainly isn't out of the question. There's also Metroid Prime 4, which is currently announced for Nintendo Switch. However, despite being currently announced, we haven't got any news on this title for multiple years now. If next gen is happening for Nintendo in 2024, we're going to have to see Metroid Prime 4 very soon. But what if we don't? Well, that means one of two things. Either the current Nintendo Switch is sticking around for a while, or there's been a change of plans and Metroid Prime 4 will instead launch on the next generation console. There's also a possibility it pulls a Breath of the Wild and becomes a cross-gen title, one that launches on the current Switch and the next generation system. We've seen it before, so you never truly know. But even if Metroid Prime 4 was to become a next generation launch title, as much as I love the series, I don't think Metroid has the system selling power to launch a new console on its own. Sure, Metroid Dread launched by itself alongside the Switch OLED, but that was just a console revision and not a generational leap like many are anticipating for the next Nintendo hardware. That's why I think if Metroid Prime 4 is going to be a launch title for the next gen system, it's going to come alongside something else. We need a historically big selling franchise releasing alongside it for things to work. Something like Mario Kart or Animal Crossing like I mentioned before. But what could also come alongside it is what I personally think is the most likely next gen launch title, and that's of course 3D Mario. 
it's been almost six years since the release of the last 3D game, Super Mario Odyssey, which is in itself wild to think about. But it's clear, Nintendo has been hard at work at the next entry in the series, and may have something to show soon. There's no question about the system selling power of a new 3D Mario game, and a big new Mario adventure is exactly the type of game that could successfully show off what the new hardware can do, both on a technical front and from an innovation standpoint. If we see a proper follow-up to Odyssey revealed in the next Nintendo Direct, then I stand corrected. But right now, if I was to bet on it, I predict we finally see 3D Mario return when the next hardware is presented. And if that happens to be in 2024, it'll be wild to see even more Mario after the year we're currently having, and the year that we can expect next year, since we're getting things like Princess Peach Showtime, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, and of course, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Remake. I know at the top of the video, I said a next-gen launch title couldn't be Zelda since Zelda Tears of the Kingdom just released a few months ago. But it is possible a smaller Zelda project could come alongside the launch of new hardware. Anything branded Zelda would be a safe bet for strong sales, so something like a new 2D Zelda game, a classic remake, or an HD port, something like Wind Waker HD or Twilight Princess HD, could also be part of a two-pronged launch title strategy. Maybe a Zelda remake launches alongside that 3D Mario, Mario Kart, or Animal Crossing giving players who might be interested in different genres several options at launch. And speaking of having options at launch, while I hope the system is just straight up backwards compatible with Switch, maybe, if it's not, Nintendo could release a series of greatest hits on the new console at launch. Popular games like Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet could be brought over to the new system, maybe even receiving next-gen graphical or performance boosts on the new, likely stronger hardware. The possibilities for next-gen are basically endless, and I'm truly so excited to see what's coming up in the hopefully not-so-distant future. Or they can take their time since I'm still trying to catch up with the crazy amount of quality releases we've had in recent months. But all that aside, it's thrilling to think that a new generation could be upon us within the next year or two. And if we got something close to the Nintendo Switch presentation of 2017 that announced that many new games, I don't even know if I could handle it. The Switch is still such a great, strong concept, and it continues to wow me to this day that I can take full-fledged home console releases with me on the go to play in handheld without skipping a beat. How new hardware is going to expand or improve on that is going to be a sight to behold. And I'm extremely excited to be on that ride with all of you. Thanks as always for watching.